everybody and welcome back to Premier Gal. In this video, I'm showing you how to use this awesome pack of 550 transitions for Premiere Pro. This pack includes zoom transitions, glitch transitions, flat transitions, spin transitions, and so much more. And each transition comes with its own specific sound effect. I did not design these transitions. They were authored by my friend Replayer who sells them on Video Hive for just $39. And the good news is, is that this pack continuously has free updates. So when it started as just version one, it only had 100, but now it has 550. So if you purchase through Video Hive, you will get these free updates, which includes new transitions. So before we jump into Premiere Pro, I wanna tell you about three awesome features that you should know about. For one, each of these transitions comes in 13 resolutions. So if you need resolutions for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or even GoPro footage, this pack has it. And second, there's no need to replace placeholder shots in the timeline. You just drag and drop them on top of your footage. And third, these transitions have excellent visual quality unlike any I've seen before. They're the same visual quality as After Effects and they render super fast in Premiere Pro. All right, so those are the three features that you should know about. Now let's jump into Premiere Pro and see these transitions in action. Here in Premiere Pro, let's first start with a 1920 by 1080 sequence with these stock video shots I got from Envato. Let's create a bin called 1920 by 1080 transitions. And this is the bin that we will drag in all of the 1080p transitions presets. After you download the transitions from Video Hive within the Premiere folder, you will find the 13 different resolution versions of the transitions. Since we are working in 1920 by 1080, let's drag this preset file into our bin in Premiere Pro. And when prompted, you want to make sure to import the entire project. And what this did is import all of our transitions into 14 categorized folders. So everything from zoom to motion presets and within these folders are the individual transitions as sequence files. To preview what these transitions look like, let's open up the flat elastic transitions folder. So now let's change the view in the project panel to the icon view. In here, you can hover over any of these presets to see a preview of how they will look in action. Next, from the timeline, make sure to turn off this icon that looks like a sequence so we can select which video layers from the preset we want imported. Since these transitions are sequences with content on video layer one, we want to turn off video layer one so that way it's not imported into the sequence when we drag it on top of the footage. So now let's drag this transition on top of our footage in the timeline, and we can align it to meet perfectly at the cut between the two video clips. Now let's press enter to do a quick render. And now when we play it back, we have the transition with our footage and a sound effect, and it was super fast and easy to use. Now let's do another example. I have another sequence of the same clips, but in a square format this time, which is most common for Facebook video. So I'll make a new bin to stay organized and I'll call it 1080 by 1080 transitions. And then I'm going to go back into the project files and take the preset file for Instagram 1080 by 1080 resolution. And I'm going to drag this into the bin in Premiere Pro. And just like before, import it as an entire project. Then let's open up a different category of transitions, let's say light leaks, and let's change it to the icon view. And let's preview some of them. I think I'm liking 04 light leaks the best. So again, I'm just going to drag this transition on top of the footage and meet it at the edit point, and then hit enter to render. And then bam, we're done. It's super fast rendering. And there are tons of other transitions that you can explore. And this pack comes with some awesome motion distortion presets, which can give your footage a warped look. And it can be great for sport shots and music videos. So for example, here I have a sequence of a concert shot. And if I open up my 1920 by 1080 preset bin and open up the distortion RGB split folder, I'm going to drag one of these on top of the footage. And what this will do is act like an adjustment layer. It simply applies the distortion to the video beneath. 
and you can extend the length of these distortion layers to meet the clip duration. So simply by dragging this effect on top of our footage, we were able to create a hyper real stylized look in just seconds. So that's all there is to using this awesome pack inside of Premiere Pro. If you guys also think that they're awesome, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about how to use these correctly, be sure to leave a comment below and I or Replayer, who's the author of the pack, would be happy to answer. Thanks so much for watching everyone and happy editing and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.